Hello, I'm Tyler again, and this is Ross Developer Notes. And this is the second uh, part of a series on the Move It To tutorials. In the last one, we walked through this page, the Getting Started page, and we found some stuff that was wrong with it. And so now I'm going to talk to you about how you can contribute to fixing those things. And, and specifically, the thing that I found that was wrong with it is it's cloning Move It To, and this will clone the default branch. Default branch only builds on Rolling and Galactic, but these tutorials target Foxy. Um, this could cause a lot of confusion. If one of you out there did this and didn't know about that, you'd come submit an issue and, and hopefully we'd deal with it. But I could show you how you could fix it if you knew what the answer is, which we do. Um, so if you were to scroll to the top of this page, there's this link that says edit on GitHub because this website is a GitHub. It's on GitHub. All right, come over here. Here is where this page is. Now, I got a little secret uh, I'm going to share with you guys. I made a PR a couple days ago to fix this issue. Um, and then I saw some other guy who also works at Picnic, Vuitton, was like, wait, like this whole page, it could be updated to give better advice, right? Remember in the last video, we, if you haven't watched it, you should go back and watch it. But in the last video, we didn't actually clone Move It 2. Um, and the reason is because it's been released for Foxy. So you just use the released version. It'll build a lot faster. And if you're actually working off of Foxy, that's the version you should use. Um, so instead of editing this page, which you could by clicking on this button and it helps you submit a pull request, um, let's go up here to the pull request. And I'll first show you my uh, attempt at fixing this. Um, here's my pull request. This is really kind of naive. Move it to now as a Foxy branch. The tutorial should be updated. So here is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to add that B branch Foxy. And Vuitton came along and, and he very nicely said, should we add a comment here supporting Rolling Galactic? And Ross, two branches should be used in that case. And he tagged me. And I agreed with him. Like, yeah, like we should, we should make this have a lot more useful information. And uh, share with our new users how they can get started in those various different cases. And and um, Vuitton just volunteered to fix it. So uh, I closed this PR. Um, you see, I closed it. Uh, I should have deleted the branch, but now I've deleted the branch. Um, we go over here to pull requests, and we find update install instructions, a minor cleanup. This is from Vuitton. Now, one of the really critical parts of how we collaborate on GitHub is code reviews. And even if you're unsure about things or you, you don't know how you can contribute, one great way to get started contributing is doing code reviews because uh, you're the perfect person to look critically, if, if you're just getting started, at the documentation for people who are just getting started. Um, this is an awesome way to get started. So we're going to walk through doing a code review of this and show you what's involved. So you click on this files changed and we're going to read this. Now, this is the diff, uh, the diff on the, on the left shows what's going away and on the right shows what's happening, uh, uh, what the changes are. And I'll talk you through what some of these changes mean and another way to look at this website that's really helpful is to look at the like rich text version of it. So let me start here. Um, first thing I noticed is that he's putting spaces between move it and the number two. And that's actually really good. So this is another just kind of like stylistic thing. Um, this is the way that like Ross uh, presents itself. It has a style guide and it says that there's a space between Ross and the version, whether that's one or two or uh, maybe in the future, there'll be a three. And Move It has the same style guide on our website. If you were to go to uh, moveit.ross.org, which is our website for Move It, and you were to go about and go to the press kit, this has guidelines about that. Like the very first thing it says is that for specific mentions of uh, Move It, it's written as Move It space two, Move It space three. Uh, and that move it is like 
it, it's a brand and, and we want to um, convey it as professionally as possible. So we have standards around things like this. So he's updating that. That's, that's really good. It's a, it's a minor cleanup. Um, so that's what's happening there. All right. This one, same thing. Ross is, should be raw space too. Um, the, the tutorials rely on the rest of that, which requires a build from source. It's no longer true. This is what he wrote. The tutorials rely on the master branch of move it to, which can be built from source or binaries. I think that's a little confusing because it no longer relies on the master branch of move it to. There is no master branch. We have a main branch, but not a master branch. Uh, please make sure you install move it to for, for your distribution of choice by following instructions from the official website. Okay. So he's linking to the website as to how you can build or how you can install things. That's actually really helpful because it's good that we have a single point of truth. So that was another thing that came up in this is like the website has install instructions and tutorials have to install instructions. They might get out of sync and make people confused and we should just really have one source of truth. Um, I think this line is a little confusing. So I'm gonna show you how you leave a comment. You click on this um, and you can click this button if you want to suggest a change. So the tutorials rely on the uh well master branch it's not the master branch that they rely on these tutorials rely on the project maybe uh the ross project ross project ross is capitalized Ross to project move it to which can be built from source or uh, installed uh, from binaries. All right. Uh, please make sure you install move it to for your distribution. Install or build move it to for your distribution of choice by following the instructions from the official website and it links to the website all right well let's make sure this link is the link you want gonna go there all right so this this source build um let's make sure these are correct oof so if this is for foxy that's not correct so we're going to have to update the official website if this is for Foxy. Um, correction or write-ups in this repo, assuming you're using that. Um, well, that's going to be a problem. I think maybe those should link. We should have a new page here. So we should talk about that. I'm going to create an issue for this because this is confusing and we should talk about what to do so install ross has the ross install and this is now incorrect because of our uh because we had the branch so um uh so i'm going to first talk about how we don't have a master branch of move move it to it is now it, it it is a main branch uh these two tutorials do not necessarily depend on that branch in the future we might need a um split between uh, Ross versions of move it to for the tutorials. Uh, but until then, we should just say it depends on move it to. Um, secondly, the Instructions on the website do not 
mention you need to use the move it uh the boxy branch boxy branch uh move it to um spelled terrible spelling uh you don't need to use the foxy branch and move it to see uh on foxy uh lastly the website does not offer instructions for binary installs um should be pointed out that unless someone is using um I think we should encourage users on foxy to install the binaries and users on foxy and galactic and encourage users who want the latest features to build rolling from users who want the source to use rolling. All right, so I asked a bunch of questions in here, and this is literally all you do when you do a code review. You, you look at it, you think about it, and try to provide some feedback. So um, I will start a review. That's, the first, that's what you have to do. Um, so that's the first comment I'm going to leave. Go look at building move it from source. Skip the following uh, else create a workspace. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know how to change this, but uh, we should point out that if you have another workspace where you built it from the source, you'll need source that workspace. Also, you'll need to build the tutorials from source. Or can we since our biz isn't pleased yet for Foxy? Don't think we have a release of the tutorials yet. Right? All right, I'm just asking questions. Um, oh. Yeah. OK, I see down here he does have it. He, so he split this up. Um, he did this. So I'm going to clean, clean that up. Don't ask that question. Update uh, comment. All right. Uh, so, oh, so he has you building the, putting the tutorials in that workspace. I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, this is fine. Uh, I'll delete that. Yeah, this is complicated enough. Um, Yep. Oh, and then this uses the Rust distro thing, which is excellent. All right. Cool. So I'm going to. I said. Oh, no. Uh, and just going to say that. All right. So. That's how you submit a review.
that's as simple as it is. And it's, it's, this is how you do open source. This is how you contribute. This is how you make the project better for everyone and how you can improve it for others. So if you're a beginner to the project, come do a review. It's really, really helpful. Um, and it, if you find something that's broken in the tutorials, please comment on it. Like we don't always know when things break in the tutorials and we're not always doing the tutorials because a lot of this information we just know offhand from doing it a lot. And it, it's sort of the, the curse of using it all the time is we, we, we don't, um, understand what newcomers uh, are going through when they're doing this. So don't assume that it's always working. Come and um, help us make it better for everyone. So there's that. Now, remember, there was that issue with the website. And I'll show you how to interact with the Move It website. So the Move It website is also Git repo. Um, so remember this one right here? Site has this thing over here. Notice that it looks like that. It's Octocat from GitHub. So if I click on that, look, Move It 2 is a website. All right, no, that just took me to Move It to itself. Anyway, uh, how do I edit this website? Well, I think it is just this. No. All right, I got to find it. Oh, it's not Move It Rust.org. It's Move It Rust.org. Yeah, that's where it is. All right, here's the website. We need to submit an issue. Um, oh, Don is way ahead of us. All right. Um, yeah. Well, this needs a review too. Um. So this looks like a bunch of HTML. Next video, I'll show you how to leave a review on this. <laughs> uh, leaving a review on the website is a little more complicated because you want to build it locally and see what it looks like. Um, so you can comment on whether you think the, the, the formatting looks nice and, and all the rest of that. Uh, it's a lot harder. Like You can go over here to the rich diff and it looks nothing like the website. So. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that next video. This is uh, Raised Your Ross IQ. Please like, subscribe, comment. Um, you can find me on Discord. I'm on the Move It To Discord and also on GitHub. Um, please come join us in contributing to Move It and improving open source robotics for all of us. Thank you.